And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Spiders to start the day off with today. We got five decks, four of them new. It's really like three of them new. All right, we got three new decks today and then two uh, we're kind of upgrading from decks that we've played before. But this one, um, this is a, a deck that, you know, like it's, it's our basic spider deck for the most part, you know, like the entry spider aggro. Um, that, you know, I've always, I've always thought spider aggro is pretty good and you have a lot of this deck, you know, you start with two Elises, you start with like a lot of the, these kind of cards at the beginning, uh, whenever you open your, open your first account. But the thing that's different here is in the top end, we're going to be using Vladimir's as a finisher to try to finish the opponent off. Vladimir, when it, when it attacks for each other attacking ally, you do one to it and one to the enemy nexus. So if, if you can, if you can attack with the six creatures, you have Vladimir, you attack with six with six creatures, including Vladimir. You do one to all other five creatures you have, but then you also do five to their enemy nexus. Obviously, that uh, kills them pretty quickly. So that's kind of our plan, is just go wide, <clears throat> have Vladimir finish them off. Now, we are doing one to each one of our creatures, and we are trying to make a bunch of spiderlings also. So we're trying to make like one one spiders. So I don't know exactly how that's going to play. That's a little bit of tension. We'll kind of see how that happens. But, you know, like we're trying to go wide, play a big crowd favorite, you know, have this thing be a four mana, you know, like six, six, seven, seven uh, with overwhelm and, you know, curve that into Vladimir. Uh, try to get a bunch of early pressure with Elise and our regular spiders and stuff like that. It'll be interesting to see how it, it plays out. If we do have one ones, you know, we can use transfusion. We can do one to to one of those one ones and give another one plus two plus two. Or we can if we have a bigger creature. We can do one to like one of the bigger creatures to give our spider plus two plus two so it doesn't die to Vladimir. I don't know. We're, we're just going to kind of see how this how this goes. All right. So we're going to go play seven matches over in ranked. Like I said, we're going to be doing five different decks today. Starting with Vladimir Spiders. And we are at Platinum 3 with uh, 20 out of 100. So, you know, we know we're that close to leveling up to Platinum 2. So we'll kind of see where we end today. Hey, Soul Farmer. non genty what's up? Yeah. That's, you know, it's it's always good to play different things. And yeah, the list is a little odd, but could work well. Maybe it won't. Who knows? We'll see. Kung Fu Fighting. I'm going to keep it. Maybe I shouldn't be because I don't have a one drop to attack with, but I just want to keep this Vladimir. See how see how it goes. So Trindamir and Nivea. So we're playing against a War Mother's Call deck. Do I want to start with Elise or the Crimson Disciple? Go Elise. I know what lurks in the shadows. A true Felyorian welcome. It is pretty nice how Arrows I can drain one from a unit, you know, do that with. <clears throat> um, I can like drain one from the Crimson Disciple and then it survives damage it does two to them, right? I assume that that's how that would work. I'll try anyone. But I'm going to do this instead. Hey, Smoif. Yeah, I wanted to change names to have a name that's versatile, can be used with any game um but legends of Ruterra, this this game that's been out for a month is awesome okay so they don't get the play trigger so they're gonna kill elise 
Is that worth it for me to trade Elise away? Um, but yeah, I, I wrote here what, how I really like Legends of Runeterra. And this, this game is just awesome. Yeah, 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 Elise. So I could I could just not attack with Elise and then like trade here, take one. I think I will attack with Elise. Stay back. Yeah, we'll get to do four damage. I think that's worth it. Ooh. But yeah, this is a little awkward with Vladimir and everything. So I'm just going to go straight to attack, so I'm not going to give them priority. I love it. Get 9 damage in there. Gross. Alright, so they heal three, but they only actually heal one because they're at 19. You can't go above 20. But then they also take two because our Crimson Disciple survived damage. So you always treat unleveled Elise as a normal two drop. Okay. Two, four, five, six, seven. So this is thirteen. Yeah. Yeah, Crimson Disciple is kind of some good tech against, yeah, low damage area of removal. Yeah, like they're playing av like if Avalanche, you know, it survives Avalanche, it does two damage to them. All right, so now this is only three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is eight. Um, I don't think I need to mark the aisles for just three damage. I'll just do the eight. Okay, well now I will. Now the mark of the aisles is worth four damage. I think I just play the one creature and pass. They could have a Nivea. And a Nivea would transform immediately because they have 10 because they're enlightened. Many tribes under one banner. 
<laughs> cool. Should be lethal now. Um, I might as well block here, because then I'm, I'm just going to play the, the rear guard to replace it now. Where's my axe? This, is a, this Vladimir trigger should kill them. You must be Lord Vladimir. And you must be Supper. Sweet. Look at that Vladimir spiders. <laughs> block or get blocked 30 times. Well, we're at two. Ugh. So we're basically there. We're at two. All right, so one of, if not the best decks... go this is the deck we played that we played this deck yesterday uh kinku elusives it's very good <laughs> yeah we won't be blocking but we could get blocked Yeah, I just yeah, I didn't want to build up an MTGO collection again. Burn toast. I just liked playing arena more. I'm sure the I'm sure Pioneer was, was a sweet format, but Hmm. Too fearsome to block. Too fearsome. Pledge yourself to the shadow. Both feet ahead. So now they just can't really even can't even attack with Zed anymore. Curving out. One, two, three, four. Yeah, Skitter is so good. These are dangerous So they can block with Zed and they can block with the 3 1, except for blocking the 5 5 Trampler. They can block the 5 5 Trampler with anything. But the other three creatures have Fearsome, so they can only block with their two 3 power creatures. Where are you going? So Vladimir turns into a transfusion. And when Vladimir levels up, gains regeneration. I've dressed for the occasion. Huh. This one's mine. 
Let's see, Zed flips. Zed flips turns into a 4-3. I wonder if that's even that bad, because 4-3... Maybe I just block here. They take three, go to go to six. They have one blocker for that, but they block here. Gaze upon me. I want to play the Crimson Disciple first, but I should probably just go to combat. Get that plus two. Oh no, that doesn't work! What am I doing? Oh my gosh, what did I just do? Ugh. Wow. Okay, that was just really dumb of me. That was just really dumb. Yeah, if you, yep, exactly. They could have they could have the the Kinku Life Blade. They could get plus three plus three, so have like a five five Life Linker, which would be a problem. But obviously, I should not have taken the one from this. I needed to take the one from one of these two. That was just really dumb taking the one from here. Okay, well, I won't make that mistake again. Hopefully. Cool. They had to have like a they had to have a bounce spell. They did not have a bounce spell. <laughs> Got to five. I'm at level 16 with PNZ, but I went back to PNZ because I realized that there's the champion wild card at level 18, so I just need to get to 17 and 18. Even though that's a lot of experience, but I'm only two away from a champion wild card. Yeah, kind of lucky. Yep, kind of lucky they didn't have a bounce spell. Alright, so they're going no champion burn. Um... I'm gonna just keep these. Yeah, Vlad's doing some work for us. And... Of course, my plan right now is the the spiders. I pull the string. I'll try anyone. We could use a bite. Come here, darling. We'll get this thing out of here. Oh, cool, that still triggers Vladimir as it's surviving, but then it also dies. I know what lurks in the shadows. 
Yeah. The yeah, the reason not to play Hey what's up, Jay Jack? The reason not to play Jinx, I guess, with the dedicated burn deck is if you don't have you know, it's a champion, you don't have the wild cards, you know, going budget route. That would be That would be the reason for no No jinx. Thermogenic beam dealing zero damage counts as surviving. Interesting, good to know. A tribute to the spider god. Surrendered. Spooky spider plan worked. I liked our opener, so I kept it for that matchup. Look at this. Vladimir spiders getting some work done. And we're 3 now. Dugzilla. All right, so we got the barrier, the barrier deck with Shen and Fiora. Yeah. Yeah, I got some Vlad Spiders. We're three and zero with it too. Hey Zuvar, doing good. Yeah, having a good Friday. Uh, I think my rank is platinum. It's the one after gold, which I think it's platinum. I think it goes platinum and then diamond. Yeah, Vlad Trigger can kill spiders. It's a little awkward. A little bit. You won't get past but it's working out. I really like the fearsome symbol. I don't know, it's just like the Halloween jack-o'-lantern type thing. <laughs> you think like Nightmare Before Christmas. Well, it's definitely nice to have a lot of creatures with Vlad. Right, like you want to be able to go wide because you want Vlad to have like five other things it's attacking with. Strike without worry. Um, let's see. You saw a list of Vlad and Brahm is really awesome? Yeah. Yeah, I do want to see that. Yeah, because I... This is my first time playing Vlad. I do want to play more Vlad decks. Just in general. Hmm. So all three power stuff. Nah, it's not gonna hit. No, it hit. Boo. Okay, ready. Such unrefined style.
Hey Ganaris, good evening. Um, not, not planning to any time, like not planning to right now. The fate of mortals and spirits falls. That's the combo right there. Shen plus Fiora. But yeah, yeah, Ganaris, I just I think this this game, Legends of Runeterra, is just really, really well put together. It's really fun. Um, and I'm excited about it for the future. I wrote about that here the other day. And um, And I wanna I wanna stick with it. Don't like my chances of winning this, even though my opponent's at 8 and I'm at 20. This combo is kind of tough. Enforced equilibrium. Try me. This deck right here, Zutvar. Cool, some Crimson Curators and stuff. Sweet, yep, looks good. I'll try this one out. I don't know if I have three Brahms, honestly. I think I have one or two Brahms. I think. To cook it. I'll do better this time. Okay, ready. <clears throat> I think I have one or two Brahms. Counter and strike. All right, so this is two, three, four damage right now. Because I think that still tramples over, right? It still tramples over through the barrier. I think. All right. Picked up another one. Vladimir Spiders ranked us up. So it looks like it's five wins. Okay, yeah, it does trample over. Cool. So looks like it's five wins to rank up. Ooh, we got Lucian Vladimir. That does sound pretty sweet. Lucian Vladimir. my axe with barry just counts the health of what has the barrier and the rest tramples cool that's okay ready I'm, I'm just like indestructible trample and mtg cool that's what i was thinking yeah that's yeah it sounds like the game plan sacrificing lucian senna get the double attack <clears throat> going
Makes sense. Explosives primed. Just gonna get rid of this thing. You won't get past me. I'll do my best. Ow, ow. So I don't really want to, um, I don't really want to trade with a bunch of stuff because of the crowd favorites. I don't know. I guess, I guess we have to attack with this thing because it just can't block. I guess we'll trade here. Cool. Zutvar. Yeah, ephemeral aggro again today. Okay, you haven't gotten the Hecarims yet? I did, I got the third Hecarim today. So we're gonna try it again with a third Hecarim and see how that goes. The people are my strength. I have my orders. <laughs> we're both pretty similar decks here. <clears throat> They're gonna do a lot of damage to us though. All right, so we're gonna trade. So these things do one damage each. Whenever I kill these, they do two. So I'm going to take 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 total damage. Just a little bit. A little bit of damage. Let me show you what I can do. There might be a way to increase the odds of getting the champs you want in a champion capsule. Hmm. I was expecting a block. So I can do one to this thing and kill them. If they had removal, they probably would have just played it, right? Look what you did. They said no blocks. Never blocking. Level up. Yep, so now we're at 20. Well, Vladimir Spiders. Hey, Narinen, what's up? Hey, QQ. Saw someone using duplicate protection and a huge amount of dust with the refund option. Huh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, if you if you earn a champion, can you just can you do the refund thing if you don't buy it? Oh oh I see what you're saying. So if you get like a Okay, I see what you're saying. Let's see, so we're on the draw against Zed. Keep this. 
Okay, so like, let's say you're in uh, Piltover and Zahn, and you really want, because uh, you really want Teemo. So if you have a whole bunch of shards, you can just like craft everything, like all the other. Uh, you craft all the other ones, or at least you craft up to three of. Everything's better with. You know, if you have like two of, if you have like two Ezreals, you craft a third, and and so on, and then, so it just increases your chance of of opening Teemo. And then afterwards, then you go back and you do the refund thing and you get your shards back. Interesting. Never see us coming. So yeah, use the, yeah, use shards, build the champion you don't want, or three of them. Gotcha. That's a pretty interesting tactic. But yeah, Narinen, we're playing Legends of Runeterra. This game's amazing, Narinen. If you said you haven't been around for a while, maybe you haven't maybe you haven't checked out this game before. I wrote why I like it more than magic. Um, right there. In that little Google Doc. So I got eleven. I basically have to kill them this round. They'll never see me. Nah, that may just be lethal. Man, am I not even going to get it? They're going to kill me on turn 4, 6, 12, 15, 17. That is crazy. Wow, what a hand. That was perfect. Yeah, that was that was their second attack. They killed me. Just hit the perfects with the Omen Hawk. Okay, so now I guess once you're in platinum, every win you get twenty points, every loss you lose twenty points. So once you get five more wins than a loss, then you get up to the next spot. So. Man, that's hard to, to level up. But of course, we had five wins there. But. All right, same deck again. This is our third time playing it. Um, our house spider is going to get it done. Third of the second house spider. Maybe I should have got rid of the transfusion also. But, ooh, okay, that's good. Okay, yeah, I'll check. I'll check out QQ. Yeah, uh, Rex is over here, and I went straight to streaming. I haven't really had a chance to check out Discord. Nedley says that's a good idea. I have, I have about 26,000 shards. You can manipulate your your champion pulls. Yeah, you definitely can then. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Okay. Let me show you what I can do. Do not deny me. Shadow is a end weapon. All right, Zed's, Zed's out of here.
Hmm. Everyone here? Oh, that's ouch. I was thinking there's not real I was thinking there's not really anything they're gonna have that's gonna punish me too bad for wait for playing this and no nope, never mind. That was it. Ouch. Yes, this game is much more free to play friendly than Arena. Absolutely. Yeah, it is. Hmm. That hurts. One damage here, give this plus two, plus two. <clears throat> Have the Crimson Disciple survive, does another two damage to them, put them down to ten. So they didn't block with the other Omen Hawk, which makes me think that they have a Navori Conspirator in hand that they want to bounce the Omen Hawk with, which which also makes me want to drain their Omen Hawk, but they're going to have the priority first to, to play that, and I can't really respond. So if they start with Conspirator, I don't get to bounce that thing. No, I was talking about how they didn't block with the Omen Hawk, and they blocked with the 2-1 instead of Omen Hawk. Which you'd think that just on the battlefield, the 2-1 would be more valuable. I'm talking about like this block they did over here. All right, they are tapped out. So, two, three, four, five. Hmm. So worst case scenario is they have a large life linker, but this is a good this is a good draw because even if they have a large life linker, whatever they block, I'll uh, kill with the glimpse beyond so they don't gain life. Do not fear okay, so just a large dead. All right, so this is them taking eight, three, six, seven, eight. <sighs> Let's see. If 
already played... Hmm. I'll just kill this. Oh, I, this, this happens and then damage happens, so I can't even... Couldn't draw something to have that survive. All right, we gotta do two damage. Yeah, the Crimson only does the two damage if it survives. Like, if I would've let the damage happen, it, it has to... It says whenever it survives damage, it does two damage to the opponent, not whenever it takes damage. Take nine down to eight. And we just gotta do two more points of damage. Opponents really thinking about it. I mean, if they have three disciplines in their hand, discipline they can give plus three, plus zero, and they could do three of those and kill me. They have nine mana, so they have the mana for three of them. Huh. Okay. I'm not sure if that was the best use for that, but... I'm not sure what would be the best use for that. So we went six and one with Vladimir Spiders. Including beating like that most popular deck there. I think we went like three and one against that deck. The Kinku Elusives. So there we go. You want you know play some aggro? This deck felt pretty sweet. Transfusion was awesome. I liked that card. That was a good trick for two mana. That card was pretty sweet. And Crimson Disciple did its job. Yeah, this deck this deck wor works pretty well. Crowd Favorite did good. Crowd Favorite with Transfusion and Mark of the Isles and stuff like that. Yeah, if they had three disciplines, that would be pretty tilting for sure. Yeah, this deck was good. Um, I had two opponents that played really bad for flat ranked. Eh, I mean, it happens. I mean, sometimes, you know, sometimes you draw well, sometimes you don't. Sometimes your opponents play well, sometimes they don't. Um, sometimes you play well, sometimes you don't, you know, depending on the day. Um... But yeah, I liked I liked this deck. I liked this one. Yeah, Nonbo didn't really matter very much. Um, and uh, Vladimir did a good job closing out some games for us. So Vladimir was pretty good. Yeah, I have to say that this deck just worked pretty well. 
All right, we'll move on to one of our next decks. We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna be playing seven matches with each one, but six and one over on Platinum. That's gonna be hard to top. Awesome, Vladimir Spiders. First time playing a Vladimir deck, and I have to say it went really well. So we're gonna have to maybe get some more Vladimir decks going. And we had somebody in chat send a Vladimir Brom deck, so I'll check that one out too. Oh, how many Brom? So how many Broms do I actually have? Let's we can figure that out. Wait, does that mean I have three Brahms? Sweet. I think I have three Brahms. Cool. All right. Well, anyway, there's Vladimir Spiders. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. I'd appreciate both of those. But thank you so much for watching some Vladimir Spiders, and I'll see you for the next video.